job is not to educate you, and I know that might be scary or, or shocking because we're on a college campus. I'm sorry, professors. My job here today isn't to educate you, although I do hope you learn something in the process. But my goal is to inspire you. The beautiful part about the current um, economic downturn and economic crisis, if you will, is that it's causing young people to be so much more creative and innovative about how they use their talents, their skills, and their passions. Um, Pew Research did a poll um, in 2009 and 2010, specifically focused on millennials, and it said that despite the economy, despite the high unemployment rate, despite the cost, uh, increased cost of education, young people are more civically engaged than ever. And it's because they're finding out that civic engagement is not just um, a job alternative. It's actually a way to better their circumstances. It's a way to create more opportunities for themselves. Tony recognized that people on his campus weren't connecting with the community and the neighborhood and the housing projects right outside of the campus. He said, well, that's silly. And the other issue was there are no environmental groups. So he came up with this idea to get businesses to donate CFL light bulbs, those are light bulbs that are sustainable, more sustainable, they use less energy, they're better for the environment. He came up with the idea to get organizations and big corporations like Target, like Home Depot, to donate light bulbs. He would get his friends together, put on green hard hats, go out into the community, in the neighborhoods, knock on random people's doors, and offer to change out their light bulbs. Another example. How many of you are familiar um, with an organization called Hollaback? I want you to look it up when you leave here. It's, I, I love it. It's one of my favorite organizations. So everybody's heard of like the feminist movement and the women's rights movement. And a lot of young women don't really resonate with that in the same way that perhaps our mothers did or our grandmothers did. And so there was a, a young woman named Emily May. And she was asked the question, well, what is the biggest feminist or women's rights issue that you see in your daily life? You know, if you listen to the news, you think it's equal pay or, um, you know, abortion rights and all these different really controversial topics that can be relevant. I'm not saying they're not relevant, but they're not the first issues that young women raise when they think of the issues that are impacting their life on a daily basis. She said, well, the issue that matters most to me that has to do with me being a woman that I deal with on a regular basis is I actually can't walk anywhere without dudes hollering at me. Like, inappropriate stuff. Yelling at me. Saying nasty things. Talking about the way I look or my appearance or my body. I feel unsafe. I can't walk, for, I can't walk home at night for fear of being hollered at. So she decided to start an organization to put an end to that. Call Hollaback. How many of you have heard of change.org? Change.org? Oh my gosh, go home. Actually, don't go home. Step out of here when you leave. Get on your phone. Look up. Change.org. Change. Yes, say it again. Yeah. <laughs> no, somebody said petition, right? Petition. <laughs> if you didn't, I'm going to pretend you said it. <laughs> I'm looking at you. Petition. It's a petition platform. You, everybody knows what a petition is, right? You go, you get someone to sign something. Very old school tactic, nothing new or original about a petition. Change.org said, why not just do it online? Why not let anybody, anywhere in the world, start a petition for an issue they care about? In 2012 alone, over 750,000 petitions were started using Change.org. Guess how many signatures were collected in total? 25 million. Just in 2012, 25 million signatures collected. It's that simple. And that's the beauty of all of these examples and so many others. It's not just that there are young people doing positive things. It's not even just that most of these that I listed, all of these happen to be successes. The one thing to notice is that they started from nothing.